um, I thought, first of all, I thought our, our attitude to the game was really, really good. Um, I thought we, we stuck with our task and stuck with our role really well for the whole 80 minutes. Um, it's a it's a very tough cheat to Chiefs team we played today, and I think we learned a lesson about how good those New Zealand sides are. I mean, Chiefs are the top of the table in New Zealand for a reason, so we like that you make it, you make errors, and those errors end up in points to the opposition. Um, I think that's our biggest work on going into the Reds next week is cutting down our mistakes, cutting down our turnovers, and if we do turn the ball over, making sure that we get to a set piece where we can reassess um, what we're doing to stop that turnover ball. Um, First of all, I thought the Chiefs were very, very strong over the ball today. Um, they didn't get a, they didn't let up. They were at us for a whole 80 minutes. Um, I think moving forward, we've just got to do a better job about reacting quicker to, to the tackle happening. Um, I thought today we were a little bit slow, and we paid the price for that. Um, yeah, it's definitely been a step up. Today was today was a hell of a lot harder um, physically and, and sort of. The, the fitness side of it against a team like the Chiefs, they were they came at us for 80 minutes. Um, I've really enjoyed my two games. I've really enjoyed the experience. Um, I hope there's a lot more in my future. But um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a fantastic start. And I feel I don't feel out of place out there, which I think a big thing. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think especially playing the Reds first up in Australia, um, being a, being from Queensland myself, I think it's a massive massive opportunity. Um, but also a, a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. I want to play well against the Reds, so I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I think, like, a, as great of an honour as it would be, uh, my, my sole focus at the moment is performing week in, week out for the Sun Wolves. Um, it, it would be a massive honour, and, and I would relish the opportunity, but the rugby's a funny old sport, and you've just got to take it one week at a time. So I'm just, I'm just focusing on the Reds, and, and whatever happens in my future will happen. Um, I think it's just it's just about generally getting better. It's it's going away and looking at my game, um, but I think the biggest thing for me is just continuing to have involvements in the game. I feel like my involvements at the moment are, are, are positive for the team. So it's just about doing more and more and getting fitter and fitter and stronger and stronger, um, and then obviously controlling the line out, making my tackles, little things like that. Yeah, I was only talking to our captain Jake Chats about this the other night. Is this team is, is, has come together really well because we've all got one thing in common. We're all, we all want to prove something. We all want, there's always, there's another thing for us to do. Like we, we want to be better and better. Um, and I think that's really brought the team together and, and everyone knows what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to do. And, and I, I, I reckon we'd be one of the best teams in the competition in Super Rugby for, for how tight we are um, and how quickly that's happened. It's pretty remarkable. Um, <laughs> very good question. Um, I think the coaches, first of all, the coaches have done a fantastic job mm -hmm. creating an environment mm -hmm. that, um, that, that the boys feel comfortable in. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I think it's just, it's just a matter of the characters mm -hmm. individually. I think we're all um, very similar in, in our backstories, like mm -hmm. uh, guys that have had to work hard to get to Super Rugby, guys that haven't had an easy path to Super Rugby. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of similarities and that's brought the boys close together. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of, of what country we grew up in, we've all had similar stories and I think that's been a big part of why we've gelled so well. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I'm in high school again. Um, I think, it, it, like obviously there's a, there's a lot of guys that I've had previous history with so it's, it's easy to sort of get back into a group with them and, and get to know them a, a, again and a bit better. Um, and then it's just uh, the, the tall guys kind of stand, stick together. Um, the myself, Tom Rowe, Ben Hind, guys like that. The tall guys tend to stick together a bit. We we speak our own language. The uh, the second rowers. So yeah, if I had to name names, I guess I'm asked.